A Taranaki cinema is standing by its decision to turn away customers wearing pyjamas, onesies and even dressing gowns to the movies, saying that it lowers the tone. Hawara Cinema 2 has made headlines around the world after a friendly reminder of its dress code on its Facebook page took on a life of its own. Our Taranaki Whanganui reporter Robin Martin, very well dressed mind you, has been in Hawara. Independently operated, Hawara Cinema 2 is situated on a prominent corner in the South Taranaki town CBD. It boasts two modern theatres and offers plush premium seating for those willing to pay that little bit extra. The cinema's manager, Kirsty Burke, says it has a long-standing ban on dirty work boots, but recently had noticed sartorial standards were dropping. Over the last couple of months we've noticed an increase in people coming to the theatre and with dirty footwear, because that was part of the post as well, as well as people wearing pyjamas and dressing gowns. And we believe we have a lovely theatre that has a nice atmosphere and we don't think that that kind of attire is appropriate and we believe it lowers the tone of the whole complex. Miss Burke says she's been taken aback by the international attention the dress code has garnered which has included fielding calls from the BBC and The Guardian. Well, for starters, the reaction full stop has been absolutely overwhelming. Um, no way did we ever think that a friendly little reminder to our customers would go global. But the majority of the response has been in our favour. I mean, all day yesterday we had customers congratulating us, saying, well done you for making a stand. Ms Burke, who has managed the Hawara Cinema for 17 years, says she simply wanted to stamp out the problem before it got out of hand. So, so what were the issues around onesies and pyjamas? Is that actually an issue here? We just wanted to nip it in the bud before it became a major issue. We do not, you know, I'm aware of other um, businesses where they have what is commonly called the PJ Brigade that shop there and we did not want to fall into that category. Moviegoers at the complex by and large supported the dress code. Eileen Tippett, who had just watched Peter Rabbit with her husband and grandchildren, was in favour of the ban. I agree. I mean, I think that you need to take a bit of pride in yourself and in your community and dress appropriately. Well, you reckon it sets a bad example that kind of people... Um, yeah, I do, actually. I do. I think that, as I say, you need to take a bit of pride in yourself. Ashley MacDonald and Michael Salisbury were off to see Ready Player One. Ashley supported the move. I think it's probably a good idea because it's a public place and, you know, you should probably dress up <laughs> just a little bit. She reckoned there was probably grounds for a ban on bedroom attire. Is that something people do in Haura, go out and about in their pyjamas? Uh, personally, I've seen a uh, good old pack and save in the morning. You'd see some people in their pyjamas, yeah. They might just uh, be having a busy day, I guess. <laughs> busy morning. <laughs> You know, no time to get changed, let's just go get some breakfast, bacon and eggs. But cinema goer Ali Ranui thinks the ban is a bit over the top, especially for evening screenings. Have you seen people come to the cinema in, in their pyjamas? or? One yeah, day? I've seen them sneaking in. Well, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, if you're coming daytime, normal time, yeah, but I, mean, I reckon if you're having insomnia movies that go for hours and hours, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, they're just pyjamas. I've seen people walk in supermarkets in their pyjamas at no time. You know, when people dash in and dash out. What's the problem? Sorry. That's no worries. How you doing, mate? The manager of the nearby White Hart Hotel, Lovedeep Singh, says he prefers his patrons not to don pyjamas in the bar, but he's been known to turn a blind eye. It's a pub, you know, there are a lot of people here socialising and all. And we want like people to be in appropriate dress code here, not like pajamas and all that kind of stuff. I haven't seen anyone coming like in wannabes and all those kind of things here. But mostly pajamas, which is like sort of okay, but not exactly. The chair of the Hawara Cinema 2 Trust, Stu Wilkinson, supports Miss Burke's decision and reckons the ban is no different to refusing entry to drunks or turning away youngsters from a restricted movie. So if you're going to the flicks in Hawara, you've been warned. There are sartorial standards to be kept up. I Hawara, Motihotaka, Oti Ahihahi, call Robin Martin Aho.